Thank you so much for staying with us. To politics now, and ANC party members have denied allegations that ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi is planning to work with the deputy president ahead of the 2022 presidential race and offer his support to Ruto. ANC says that rumors being peddled have been sponsored by Mudavadi's opponents for their own political gains and to create an enmity between the president, Uru Kenyatta, and Mudavadi. At the same time, Kajado Luya team, led by CS Eugene Wamalo and Kakamega governor weekly for Paranya, will hold a meeting with all six Western governors in Lugusi, Bungoma. Now, Willie Lusigi has been covering the politics there and now joins us live. Good afternoon, Lusigi. It's great to see you. What's happening, especially being a season where, um, quote-unquote, we're seeing fumigation in most parties? Lusigi. <laughs> Actually, the Kajado team has landed here at Lugusi Primary School, which is in, uh, in Webuye, just to address the same same issue that you have highlighted, including the meeting where they were supposed to meet all the Western governors, and apart from that, also have a meeting with the Tachoni community elders. Those are the elders in charge of the dominant community living here in Webuye. The meeting is currently underway. They landed here a few minutes ago. We are being also told that they have another meeting, which will be held, I think, in Bumala, that one will be able to verify in a few minutes but apart from that the bigger concern this is a team that was appointed by some real leaders who had met at their Tuoli's home in Kajado where they decided to pick two people to represent the Luya community in terms of fighting for the unity and also trying to bring back development in a region where we have seen not so much happening recently so the team is led by Kakamega governor weekly for Paranya and the CS in charge of devolution that is Eugene Wamalwa those ones I've seen here already present include Busia governor that is Sospita Ojamong uh, Bungoma governor that is weekly for Angamati including the other two that uh, I have already mentioned the meeting is still under we cannot be able to give more details on what they are discussing but this is just a prototype a similarity to what we saw in uh, Bungoma when they met the Bukusu elders what we saw in Transoia when they met the Sabawot elder elders and also what we saw in Busia when they met the Teso elders it's all about us to convince these elders to speak with one voice and be able to vote for one presidential candidate on behalf of the Western region and apart from that try to convince the government to bring more development in a region where we have seen not much is happening recently and also it's very very important to highlight that tomorrow they'll be going to visit Vihiga which is the political back uh, backbone of the NC party leader that is Msali Amdavadi so this team tomorrow will be in Vihiga where they will be holding a meeting with the elders from there and we'll see if they'll be able to uh, convince those elders to support them rather than support NC party leader Msali Mdavadi. So those are the, some of the issues that are currently happening. But early in the morning, we spoke with some of ANC members of parliament, including Lurambi MP, who came out gun blazing, saying that there is no any other plan for the ANC party to support William Ruto as power. We have been seeing uh, online and even some other leaders accusing Msali Mdavadi to be planning to work with the deputy president in intention to win the 2022 presidential election. They said those are rumors being peddled by their competitors and also their enemies, and they are not even ready to work with the deputy president unless the deputy president is willing to support Msali Mdavadi's uh, ambitions to become the president of this country. So some of the issues they spoke, I think you can give me a few minutes to speak to one of the governors who is here. Karibu sana mwishmiwa kwenye KTN News. We'll make it brief. Maybe why are you here today? <coughs> we are here today. Uh, because we're having a meeting with the Takuso. The Takuso is an elders forum for the Tachoni community uh, who, are, who are spread across the Western Kenya. We are engaging them. Uh, we are here with uh, Moshimiwa Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalo, the Cabinet Secretary of Devolution. We are here with the Chairman of Council of Governors, uh, Moshimiwa Governor Oparanya. We are here with Governor Ojamong and myself and uh, uh, MCS and the uh, speakers from this region. What is the agenda? The agenda is basically we are just trying to talk to our communities. Uh, you remember very well last weekend, uh, Oparanya and Eugene uh, met with the elders of Bukusu. They also met with the Sabot elders. They also met with the Teso elders. But today we are meeting the, Taku the Tachoni elders. From here we have another meeting in Hasoko where we're going to meet the uh, Batura elders. So we're just meeting and engaging and understanding their needs. And you, you remember very well when we met at Atoli's home, we agreed 
that for purposes of coordination and leadership, uh, Mwishmiwa, His Excellency Governor Oparanya, and Cabinet Secretary uh, Eugene Wamala will be leading us. And you know we have sent them to the His Excellency President. Thanks, Lusige, for that. Now, regarding the same story, um, uh, those allegations of ANC party leader Musali Mudavadi planning to work with the deputy president ahead of the 2022 presidential race, which have been termed as rumors, uh, let's listen in to this uh, upsound by some of the ANC party members. We, in the Amani National Congress, we have not, we have not at all indicated that we are going to work with the deputy president. That is, you know, the, the, the members of parliament that came to Mudabadi's house, some of them are from Jubilee, some of them are from Fort Kenya, some independent, and some of us in ANC. We, we've just come for a cause, to chart the way forward for our region. It has got nothing to do with the presidential ambition of the deputy president. In fact, uh, we, in Amman National Congress, we cooperate with the President of the Republic of Kenya, President Uhuru Muigai Kinyat. We support his agenda. Speculation, rumors, and uh, actually blood and lies will not help anybody. I know we have uh, Mudavadi haters, the ones that want to bring him down, are the ones that are sponsoring these headlines that we are seeing today. And this is going to be a rift between him, is to cause a rift between him and the head of state. And that's what we don't want. We want for the next two years to support the president, to implement his agenda. And we know Mdavadi is a presidential candidate. How can a presidential candidate support another presidential candidate? It doesn't work. In fact, we are also looking forward to, to have the deputy president support us. So there is these headlines you are seeing is meant to confuse our people. We ask our people to remain steadfast.